welcome back to another Create Sim Challenge. So today we are going to be doing a fun one because we are going to be doing Minecraft mobs in The Sims 4. So I have done this multiple times actually, probably at least twice on my Twitch streams like ages ago. And I thought that, you know what, I want to do it again but on my YouTube videos because this is one of my favorite challenges to do because it combines my two favorite games of all time, Minecraft and Sims. As you can see, I have a tiny little Enderman in the back <laughs> chilling up there. I actually have been playing Minecraft longer than I've played Sims. I've played Minecraft since like beta mode. I love Minecraft and I love Sims. And so this is like a really fun combination of the two. So hopefully this will become a bit of a series, but I don't know, it's up to you guys. So anyways, let's go ahead and start this video. I feel like I'm low-key rocking the side part right now. I don't I don't know what's going on, but like kind of cute. Anyway, <laughs> so we are gonna go ahead and make three today, I think. So I've kind of picked like some of my favorites and also some that I think will be the most fun to make in Sims from my prior knowledge, because I have made pretty much all of the Minecraft mobs before to the point where I was literally making like chickens and pigs in the Sims, which is literally, it's not Minecraft at that point, is it? It's just making a pig and a chicken in the sims the three i'm gonna do today are gonna be the cave spider the moose room and the iron golem i could have done like zombie skeleton sure but like i feel like this is kind of a fun combo of sims so we're gonna start with the cave spider yeah we're gonna start with the cave spider <laughs> i don't quite know apparently when do i ever know anything literally never because i am a idiot <laughs> so i think we'll make them all as female sims i think for the cave spider first of all i have a so much spider cc i don't know why because i have a massive fear of spiders like i am up there with the most feared person no I, i'm not i'm not scary to spiders i think i'm actually quite welcoming but I, i'm the most scared of spiders okay maybe not the most scared of spiders like i can handle a money spider but then again i had one on with the other day and i literally nearly cried my eyes out because like what are you doing on me <laughs> what are you doing like genuinely speaking did i ask did i ask did i offer did i did i invite into by my home you know like no so why are you here i've had many horror stories with spiders over the years and therefore i do not like them however in minecraft they're quite fun they're quite fun they're not fun <laughs> they're actually scary so we're gonna make cave spiders particularly because to me spiders eh, cool right whatever cave spiders on the other hand absolutely wonderful i was gonna say sexy and then i thought hmm, maybe don't say that but the main reason i like cave spiders more than regular spiders is because they are first of all poisonous when they attack you they basically kill you in like four seconds it's kind of rude because i've died from cave spiders way more times than i'd like to admit but also i like that they're kind of like this like greeny teal color like is that green is that teal is that blue who knows who knows no one will ever know is it blue green blue green i'm gonna go with the teal covering all my bases is, is, is here so i think for skin tone i could go for like the actual teal however that's horrifying so i think instead we're gonna take a less literal approach and we're just gonna go with a skin tone which is gonna make a human sim that's actually a spider so i guess not really human but <laughs> work with me okay the sims 4 is a game and so is minecraft and minecraft is very different to the sims 4 because it's very pixels not pixels cubed <laughs> Is that the word? Maybe that one we'll go with. Oh my god. I haven't done this in so long. Like, I'm so happy to do this again. I don't know what asks. That's the thing. Like, normally the reason I do videos is because, like, everyone asks to do it. Not a soul. Not, not a genuine soul has asked me to do this. But you know what? Sometimes I like just doing videos because I like doing them. And let's be honest, I do that all the time because I'm a selfish little sod, apparently. But <laughs> we move past that. So obviously the case spiders have, like, eight eyes, right? I mean, to be fair, they look like they have, like, 20 eyes because of how many pixels are on that thing. I don't know. But they have quite a lot of eyes and they're all red. And then they also have the fangs and then eight legs. Now, before you say, Lana, how are you going to make a spider in The Sims? How it's not literally not possible. It is possible, okay? I'm, I'm warning you now, okay? Just, just give me like... 25 minutes probably until I just finished making the sims nose apparently like what am I doing just click a nose just click a nose so I think some eyebrows like kind of straight ones like these yes I was about to make a joke about the fact that I'm not straight it's just it was it was it was right there but then I thought you know what? I won't say it but then I realized well I'm saying it right now so really why didn't I say it? okay I think maybe the mm, mm, mm. well that's called venom it's a bit dramatic though isn't it it's a bit I don't know how they're all the way up there I think that these ones are pretty good so we'll go with these for now and then we'll just kind of do skin details that I probably do way too often because let's be honest I really hate change. Um, I I just I, I don't like change. Change is bad. Why why like why 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 do people like change? Okay, <laughs> like I just want to sit here and do the same skin details over and over again because I know I like the same skin details. So like, why wouldn't I choose them over and over again? But then some people are like, well, I'll just use different ones. And I'm like, I know I have a lot of skin details, and really I shouldn't just use the same one over and over again. But then again, like, what's the fun in change? I'm pretty sure literally no one cared that I was using the same one over and over again. Um, but in my head, it felt like a big deal. So I have a lot of spider stuff. However, I. Kind of low-key, low-key, low-key. I've forgotten where they are because I have not done this in at least a year. Definitely over a year. Two years, probably. So I am kind of forgetful. And honestly, even if I'd have done it yesterday, I still would not know. So I think we'll just keep going. We'll keep trekking through. Keep powering through, guys. And then if I can find it, I can find it. If I can't find it, well, that's the end of the video, isn't it? <laughs> would a spider have freckles? Genuine question. I think that the case spider would because it's kind of got this, like, kind of, like, patchy pattern. Patchy pattern. That's, that's funny, isn't it, to say. Sorry, patchy pattern. And, yeah. 
yes, I am making that up so I can give my sim freckles. Mm, because I love freckles. Thinking just these, you know, something subtle. <laughs> Just kidding. Definitely want to make it look a little bit scarier because I guess today we're doing one hostile mob, one passive mob, and one in-between neutral mob because iron golems can technically attack you if you attack them. But like, why are you doing that? Like, I know iron's good and whatever, but like, just uh, to be fair, I say that I do indeed have a iron farm on my world, but we don't talk about that. We do not discuss the uh, murders that go on inside of my Minecraft world, okay? This is a pretty decent base. We've got, we've got, we've got a good sim. Cute, stunning, beautiful, talented, incredible. Do spiders have big teeth? They do, right? <laughs> they even have teeth oh they don't have teeth oh my god that's so cute oh oh what cute patooties i mean i am absolutely petrified of them and i will indeed scream if i see one but still i don't think i can really do that in the sims no okay well if in doubt do a gap tooth that's what i always say <laughs> because i do that every time so <laughs> it's not really a shock for some reason i feel like we should make the eyes further apart i don't know why just get that energy from spiders i don't 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 ask don't question my ways, okay? <laughs> they don't make any sense. <gasps> I have a nose spider. Oh my God, remind me, guys. Remind me to use that. Yes, I will forget. But remind me anyways, okay? I just... Okay, so right now, you're probably looking at this thinking, ah, oh, yeah, I mean spider, spider schmider. Sp what? Anyways, <laughs> this isn't really looking like a spider ladder. Boom! Pow! Sound in my heart, that beat goes on and on and on and on and on. Sorry. So I think the color is kind of like, well, none of those. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I... Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think that's pretty similar, right? I would like to go for like the green, but I think we probably should go for the more teal option. And then, and then wait for it. Give me another while and uh, i will find it i promise okay and then you're like oh yeah yeah but that's just like little fang things it's not even that crazy and then you're like boom pow i won't sink it again but boom pow <laughs> this is wonderful first of all way too far out okay like why why are you trying to get to me you know what i mean I, it kind of scares me how like it's such an arch you know it's, it's really it's really it's really out there really trying to trying to get to me which i don't enjoy now that is four i don't know much about spiders but I, i'm pretty sure they have eight legs now i don't know if this is like i don't know maybe this you know we have four limbs maybe maybe that's the why or maybe that's the fangs that are on the body i don't know but i I, I I believe. I believe in the person that made this. And I believe that this is correct. So anyways, I think that this looks so cool. So now we're going to actually do the rest of the sim. <laughs> kind of important part. We can't just add that and go, yes, we are done. First of all, we need to get some crazy red eyes. Because, you know, okay, spiders kind of, kind of, kind of got some crazy red eyes. Hence the crazy red eyes. <laughs> I know for a fact that somewhere in here, I have like some spidery looking eyes. Because every time I see it, I'm like, damn, that's like a spider. And then I'm like, oh, I should use it if I do that again. And then I haven't done it again. But now right now, there they are yes knew it told you told you didn't i i did didn't i i did i promised i did okay i think like maybe those or those i think those they're a little bit more subtle i mean they're not that subtle but they're a little bit more subtle i think that they look so cool ah okay i love how she's looking so far now i don't really know what kind of makeup a spider would usually wear i haven't personally met one that wears makeup as of yet but maybe you know there's a there's a chance for everything right so maybe i might meet one i mean i don't want to meet one actually <laughs> i would be quite content if life if i never met a spider ever again but then again do you really meet them because i don't really have a conversation with them the point is i think that i don't know what spiders would really have for makeup and also i don't really have anything that's like i don't know cobwebby because well i didn't download anything for this beforehand because i kind of figured i have a lot of halloweeny cc halloweeny lol <laughs> so i figured you know i'd probably have enough stuff right see i was gonna go for like some sort of thing like this like a bit of blush that's that color but i'm wondering if we can maybe add that afterwards instead that just looks kind of weird to me so i think i might just go for like a regular schmegular blush i don't know what schmegular but apparently it is now uh, just because i really like adding blush and then i want to go for some massive massive lashes i find that a lot of these already feel like spidery lashes anyways so in this scenario it works out wonderfully usually i'm like oh i don't want to look like a spider but in this case absolutely look like a spider darling that is your choice and do it okay honestly maybe those like they're kind of crazy i like how those look i think those look really cool and definitely they could be like little spider legs coming out of the her eye but now that i've just said that i actually really want to cry oh my god i'm a poet and i definitely did know it this is literally wild i am literally so smart i did not rhyme that oh my god well that's the end of my youtube channel i guess <laughs> i have this cobweb cc oh my god i forgot about this okay maybe a little bit much in the red but that is cool it's quite on the nose isn't it i mean it's not on the nose it's under the eye actually <laughs> i'm wondering if we should actually just go for like something like just like a graphic liner instead just because i felt like that other one was a little bit too much you know i think just something like this for her eyes and then for lipstick i don't know if i have anything that's gonna scream spideriness i hope that oh my god imagine i have one with like the spider coming out of the mouth oh my god i think i'd cry you know people do that on tiktok my heart my heart races my heart peter patters you know i'm not i don't like it okay just just keep a spider in your mouth or something <gasps> Do you guys ever used to watch I'm a Sam to get me out of here and or still do if you're me? There was that one challenge where she had to put a spider that was alive in her mouth 
and keep it in there for like 30 seconds and then eat it or something like that. And when I tell you, my fear of spiders probably started from there. <laughs> I despise that so much. Why is that a challenge? It's not fair. It's not fun. Nor fresh. <gasps> that actually is a spider. Oh my god, I was kidding. <laughs> Guys, I was joking. I was I was like being sarcastic. But no, that is actually a spider. I mean, at this point, are we at that point of commitment? I kind of feel like we are. Yeah, I kind of feel like we are. I feel like there's no going back now. And we might as well just continue. Okay, let's move on. Oh, actually, quickly, I've got some spider details that I need to add on as well. Not really sure about the spider nose just because it's got a little heart in the middle. I feel like it's a little bit, a bit odd. I don't know. <laughs> I think instead we'll just add a bit of highlight instead. And then we've got this, which is a little, like, I guess it's got eyes in it. I don't remember if you can actually put the eyes in it. I feel like you can, but I have literally no idea where. Okay, okay, I think I found it. So theoretically, if I click this, <gasps> yes. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, literally so lame. Okay, let's do some hair now. So I don't know what spidery hair. Uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out. See, maybe something kind of like this with like a lot of different like strands to it would be a good shout, maybe. I don't know. Let's just let's just scroll for what feels like an eternity and see what we can find. And hopefully we can find some cute options. Or even something like that with like the little yeah, like something that's kind of mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Something like that. That makes sense. Okay, so I've pretty much gone through like all of my hairs and I'm gonna just screw like who cares? It, I don't even know what hair looks spidery means. So I'm gonna go with this hair because this looks absolutely impeccable on her. I actually love it so much. And I think it suits her so well. So I just, I, I sometimes you gotta take creative liberties, and by that I mean you gotta just absolutely deny what you just said like five minutes ago and just say no, no, I didn't say that. I in fact was just gonna make a sim that just happened to have spider limbs, obviously. <laughs> Okay, let's do the outfit. So, I mean, what have we got to work off of here? We have a spider with greeny, tealy colors. <laughs> that is the extent of the knowledge we have of the cave spider. So, I don't really know what kind of dress style this sim is gonna have. But let's be honest, if we're on my channel, it's definitely gonna be some form of alternative. So, who really... Who, uh, uh, no one's surprised, okay? I think I also have, like, a full spider body, like, on the legs. But I also have a lot of CC. And if I <laughs> want to find that, I think it might take me literally all day. So I'll just casually scroll whilst I'm discussing this with you guys right now. But if I cannot find it, that is not my problem because just look, okay guys, I've been scrolling. Look how fast I'm scrolling right now. Okay. Oh my God. If we ever make a bat sim, I'm just saying, if you want a part two, let me know in the comments. <laughs> ah, oh my god, I actually found it. Okay, yeah, see, this might be a bit much. <laughs> Is the line crossed here? Mm, yeah, probably. Also, I feel like it's gonna freak all you out in the comments because it did Loki just freak me out when I saw that because my neck just started getting itchy. So I'm not gonna go with that one because honestly, I think I will cry looking at it. So yeah. Oh, you know what we need? A mesh top. It's so perfect, although that's really cute. But a mesh top because it can look like a cobweb, right? Like that surely I have, sh surely in this wide selection of uh, Sims 4 CC, I have something that looks like a cobweb. Like, surely. <laughs> yeah, surely, right? <gasps> this has a spider on it. Oh, and, oh, <laughs> disappointment. I thought, oh, maybe it comes in the right color scheme. Nope. Nope, it does not. Why would it? I mean, I feel like this kind of has, like, spidery cobweb energy, but, like, I like it in black. <laughs> I don't really like any of the other swatches. So, like, maybe not. Okay, I just want to say the fact that me not owning a single, like, spider-inspired thing or a mesh top, apparently, it's actually a crime, and I fully do not believe it. However, I have searched and searched and searched and searched. And it just doesn't appear to be there. So I think I'm gonna go for this one. But it's kind of boring. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Ooh, see, I like that. I mean, it doesn't really have spider energy, but <laughs> at this point, we're, we're, we're really swaying off topic, apparently. <laughs> I'm literally so undecided right now because she looks absolutely banging in a long skirt. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but she looks absolutely stunning in a long skirt. But then I also think that spiders are more notoriously, like, you know, they got the legs. So I feel like I want to do a short skirt, but I don't seem to have anything that is as cute as the long skirts. And therefore I want to cry. So there is what I'm at right now. That is, <laughs> that's how I'm feeling at this current moment in time. Not very good. Not very good, guys. Not very good. I don't know, guys. I, I She looks great in a short skirt, but like, I just, Something about the long skirt, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I don't know which one to do though. Should we do that one or that one? I mean, we could try and get a bit of the green in there, but it's kind of ugly. But then again, it should be green rather than black, shouldn't it? <laughs> But then again, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, we can go all black. Technically, this could be a spider or a cave spider. However, it's actually a cave spider. But it was you know. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna change her hair out to this one because I love this one and I was between the two anyways and I don't know what it is. Something about hair touching clothes that's like the same color. It just bothers me so much. So like when her black hair is touching the black top, I'm like, oh my god, stop it. Stop it. What are you doing? I don't know what it is about that that really bothers me, but yeah, it makes it very difficult <laughs> to 
to do this. But I think that this should be easier now because I actually can, you know, do this easier. I think I will go for a short skirt. As much as I would love to go for a long skirt for her because she does suit long ones better, I think that for the sake of this video, I probably should give her a short one instead. This is like a totally different vibe and not a vibe I was going to go for, but like, I kind of like this. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, it's cute, obviously. But like, I wasn't expecting this for this sim. But like, do I kind of like it? I mean, it's definitely the... I mean, I don't know if K-Spiders have this vibe. That's the issue, right? I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go for this or not. I think it's really cool though. Maybe I have some other stuff that's kind of got like cobwebs on it. How do I not have more cobweb related things? Well, that's got a spider, but I also don't really like it. <laughs> so maybe not. Okay, Loki, been doing this for over an hour now and I'm still on the first sim, not even finished. But I think this is the outfit I'm going to go for. I think that this is really cool. And like, I, I don't know, she suits the long skirts, guys. Okay, there's, no, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, and honestly, I'm not going to take that away from my lass. You know, she, she suits them, wear them, you know? So I think I'm just going to go for this. And then I'm thinking maybe like some massive heels. I don't normally go for heels, but wow, that's okay. Well, didn't quite mean that, darling. Although, I don't mind it. No, I do mind it, actually. No, point is, <laughs> I think I want to go for like some like little heels. Well, not little, actually quite large heels. I find it funny when my sims go, woof, woo. Woo woo! Like babes, wave off. <laughs> You're trying to escape. Absolutely not. I know that we've been here for quite a while and you've had to stand still for way too long, but it's not my problem. It is not my problem. So stay there. Thank you. Those are sick. Oh my god, they match the Oh my god, they match the skirt! Oh my god, sorry. This is when I start to get lame. I think this has the right colors on it and it's still like really cool. So we're gonna go for this. Then I definitely want to add like a belt or something. I just, I, I just, I just, I just want to add something. I just want to add a little, 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 little spice to it, you know? Nails. We need like some like little like talon looking nails. I think, yeah, these. Oh my God, I love these so much. They're so cool. And I actually think we can get it with a bit of the color as well. Yes. Oh my God, it's so perfect. Love, love, love. That looks amazing. I really want to add like some tattoos. I'm hoping that I have some tattoos that are like, spider related i mean i'm assuming i do right like I, I would be very surprised if i don't so i just gotta find them now <laughs> oh another thing i wanted to add was this because we can make it so that the bottoms of our hands are like a slightly like green tint to them i don't know if i've got any spider related tattoos and i feel like i'm gonna go crazy because i definitely have some somewhere <sighs> but I don't know where. <laughs> okay, I haven't been able to find exactly what I wanted, but this one does have this spider on the back. And honestly, I think that's the best we're gonna get. So we're just gonna go for this one. Although I would also love for her to have a chest tattoo. Either that, or if I give her like a massive necklace, maybe. So we'll just see what kind of options I have. Oh, I actually do have something that's spider related. <laughs> okay, that's, well, I, when I said Lil, um, <laughs> I didn't think it was quite that small. Okay, well, that's disappointing. Do I have anything else that's spider related? I feel like one, yeah, sure. That makes sense that I've got it. But two, do I really have two spider necklaces? Is? I don't think so. God damn it. I was about to say, oh, I can't see any, but there's one from Spooky Stuff. But for some reason, it messes with the goddamn wing things. Wings? Wings, Lana? Really? You think those are wings? No. Fang, leg, my bobbies. Can I go give with any necklace? Oh, God. Okay, we're definitely gonna need a chest tattoo then. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find one that actually, like, goes in the chest perfectly like that. So I'm just gonna leave her like this, which I think is fine. And then I don't know if there's any other, like, accessories that I can add on top here. I feel like there probably is, but I don't know if I should, I guess is the real question. <laughs> Like, where's the line drawn at, you know? Okay, so with a few finishing touches, I've added these cobweb earrings. And then I've also added little angel fangs because, you know, fangs. It's, it's a little, little, little spider joke. It's not even a joke. It's just... It Sure. I also added the choker as well to just break it a little bit. I was going to add a septum, but I felt like I best draw attention to her mouth, which obviously is happening right now. So yeah, this is our finished sim. So, oh, I could also do fishnets. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> I feel like it might look a bit much. Let me just try something though. I'm almost positive that I have some cobweb tights in here. Yes, I got these ones. And then maybe we'll just add little, little socks at the bottom as well. Okay, so now I think we're officially done. <laughs> I, oh, I could add a belly button piercing, but you won't be able to fully see it. which is making me distraught. Here is our final cobweb cobweb sim cave spider sim let's just do the last name of cave spider and then let's figure out like a c first name any of these start with a letter c i just saw cleo but maybe not cleo because i just think of um hey show just had water <laughs> camille okay camille cave spider i like that so she uses she had pronouns we are gonna go with hmm what kind of sexuality would the cave spider have you know what i'm getting a major arrow ace energy from the cave spider they kind of walk kind of fast at you so maybe we'll go with like a bouncy walk or even like a creepy walk no okay <laughs> no not that one maybe just just like the feminine walk. That's fine. Obviously likes the color black, green, and blue. Oh, and also red for the eyes. And I think we'll do honestly chief of mischief, but just because the only trait is basically like spawning in, poisoning, spawning in, <laughs> poisoning. I think we'll go erratic for the fact that, you know, they actually attack you. We've got adventurous because they're in a cave and that's got a little like, to me, that looks like a cave hat. I know it's not. I'm pretty sure it's to go up a mountain, but it works for me. And maybe honestly like a slob because like, I'm sorry, but like that is not a very like aesthetically pleasing cave that you're in right now. Like that mineshaft is not looking good. So this is the final 
awesome. This is Camille Cave Spider. I love her so much. So let's go ahead and move now on to the second sim, which is going to be the Moose Room. Okay, so it's been about like honestly a week since I filmed that first part, but we are going to make the other two sims today, which today is the same video for you guys. But for me, it's been like a whole week and that's why I look different. I also have pretty lights in the background and also a Pennywise balloon, which is so cute. And I'm oh, sorry, that's too much exaggeration, but I got it from a charity shop. And when I tell you it was the best find in my life, okay, but that's an exaggeration, but it felt it. Okay, it felt, it felt like a great find. Also, I went ahead and downloaded a little bit of Spider CC. So I managed to get these earrings that are like really cool little spiders. And then also I got this better tattoo, which has a little like, well, a little, let's be honest, there's a massive spiders. If that was like on my body right now, I think I would actually go into heart palpitations, die, curl up on the floor, dead, deceased in my grave kind of thing. So <laughs> I got this tattoo, which is cool. So now let's move on to the second sim, which is going to be the Moose Room. And I need to Google the Moose Room. <laughs> okay, so Moose Rooms, I feel like a lot of people love Moose Rooms. I feel like a lot of people's favorite Minecraft mob is Moose Rooms because they are honestly so cute. Like I love Moose Rooms so much. The little baby Moose Rooms, oh my God, like I don't even, mm, I don't even know what it is, okay? Because it's literally like this weirdly large pixelated head. Something about that weirdly large pixelated head, okay? I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it's so cute. I am excited to make this sim. This is a passive mob. Passive, hostile, passive. Honestly, a lot of words. You know, it's kind of funny. This is totally off topic, but not really, but kind of at the same time, it's kind of off topic. But the point is a lot of words I never knew until I played video games. Like passive, hostile, are you kidding me? Like I did not know the word passive until playing Minecraft. Same with like a lot of stuff in Sims, like miscellaneous. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> are you kidding me right now? That's a real word that I know. And I know the like description, like the actual meaning behind it. Like that is insane to me. Like I I, I, I just feel like there's a lot of stuff that I never knew about before playing games. And I'd like to think that that makes it worthwhile for playing so many hours and putting so many hours into these games. But then again, I also have like what, 6,000 hours on Sims. And um, well, I don't know if that's an accomplishment that <laughs> I'd like to share often. So the Moose Room is a passive mob. So cute. They're only found on the Mushroom Islands. What are they called? Mushroom. Hello. What are they called? I've forgotten what they're called. It's just a Mushroom Island. Well, that's boring. Anyways, point is, I used to find those all the time. I have not found one in so long. Okay, so I have a lot of Mushroom related CC. I don't know what it is, but like Mushrooms and Spiders. I don't know what it is. I don't know how we're going to do the Iron Golem, by the way. Let's just say now. I have literally no idea, but Mushrooms, Spiders, so many people have that kind of CC. Whereas like, I mean, an Iron Golem, then again, it's, it's not that common of a thing, is it really? I haven't seen one in real life. Imagine how scary an Iron Golem be in real life. You know what? Let's get on to that topic when we get to the Iron Golems because I'll probably talk about how terrifying that would actually be. Be walking down the street and then you see this massive iron thing walking towards you. Then again, I think I'd be scared if I saw a cave spider or a moose room at that point, you know? Anyway, so I think we should go for like a really cute aesthetic for this sim because moose rooms are cute, okay? No one can deny it. No one can hide it. Moose rooms are adorable little things and I feel like every single person loves them because they are so goddamn cute and so little, little, little squishy little things. Fun fact, in primary school, when I was in about year five, I used to have a little plushie of a moose room, like a baby moose room that I used to carry around with me everywhere. Loki, was it a bit weird? Yeah, probably. But me and my bestie, we used to love this moose room to death and I forgot what it was called. <gasps> Guys, I'm getting so old. I forget these things now. I'm past my prime. What can I say? The point is, <laughs> that's a joke. Well, is it? I don't know. But the point is, is I have no idea what it was called, which is devastating to me. But the point is, is I, I used to love moose rooms. It was a long story to just tell you guys that I, I did quite enjoy moose rooms. I still need to play Minecraft again. Fun fact, I actually got popular on Twitch by streaming Minecraft. And it's a very fun fact for you guys that no one cared about, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, let's make the sim. So I don't really quite know what I'm going for in terms of like facial features. I think I'm just going to make a sim and then work around like the mushroom mushroom vibe. I feel like the mushroom thing is going to be so easy to do. Now, am I being way too optimistic and I'll probably end up being like, this is really difficult? Yeah, probably. I tend to have that real issue, but then again, I'm quite a negative person. So I'm allowed to be positive right now. Okay, so mushrooms, they don't really have a nose. Actually, no, that is a nose, isn't it? They don't really have a big mouth. So I think I'll go with like bigger eyes. I know that we're not really going for like what they look like in Minecraft. Like, don't get me wrong, like they all look the same. But for for the sake of this sim, I feel like we can kind of do that. So I'm going to go with a smaller mouth, a bigger nose, and I think bigger eyes. First of all, she's looking absolutely adorable. I love her already. I'm also tempted to give her like some cool ears. I don't know what it is, but like <laughs> there's no real reasoning behind this, but like hear me out, okay? Isn't that adorable? That is adorable to me. Now, I don't know if mushrooms would have those kind of ears in real life, but I, I, you know, so... <laughs> Also, how do we feel about the background? I think it's cuter than my wardrobe door combination. I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of a hideous thing we had going on in the background before because I literally just, I'm in my bedroom. Like my bed, literally there. Like if I move my camera slightly, you would see my bed. I think I like how this sim is looking for the base so far. I think if we just kind of add like some basic skin details, let's be honest, guys, I'm not being crazy today. I'm not in the mood to go crazy. The crazy part is when we get past the skin details. This is the boring bit. This is the, you know what I mean? What's it called? I don't know, but now I'm dancing. This is how I look in a club 
guys. If you ever see someone dancing like this in a club, apparently it's me. I don't know. I think this skin looks pretty cute. I like how like flat it looks. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Wait, they do have horns. Do they have horns? Do they? Are, hmm. Are they ears or are they horns? Do, do cows have horns? This is so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. Oh my god, they do have horns. Guys, I never knew that. Then again, I'm quite scared of cows. I am a person that is scared of everything in life. Like, if you put anything in front of me, I will be terrified of it. Like, I, <laughs> I'm just not meant for like not being scared of things. I, I, I don't get how people aren't terrified of life. You know, it's a very scary place. I'm wondering if we should go for like white freckles. I mean, it's cute. Hmm. Turning into a villager at this point. Hmm. Hmm. I like in my head that sounds like really accurate, but I feel like when I edit it back, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> What are you on about? What are you on about, darling? See, I was so tempted to go for these ears, right? Because they're like, have this little swirl at the end. And they can even have a little heart, which is like the... Okay, you know, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I was like, I'm so tempted, but like, I wasn't gonna do it. But then I saw it and I was like, I very rarely get to use these, okay? I, I can't remember the last time I used them. Probably for like an alien sim or something. Sure, this is meant to be like a weird red cow that grows fungus. Speaking of fungus, interesting segue. But have we all seen the new trailer pack? Tra pack, pack? trailer pack trailer i like the look of it i'm content with it i feel like it looks pretty good i like the apartment thing and i like to believe that they did that whole fungi death specifically for me now let's be honest they have no idea who i am and yes i am twirling my headphone wire why do i have a tendency to do this so much i think it's because my hair is all tucked away i'm like oh my god they totally did it for me like sure they did not do it for me but if they had i'd be very appreciative the point is they made a fungus death and it looked very much like the last of us so probably they were inspired by that rather than some weird person that's me but i like to think that they did it inspired by my zombie series i am absolutely delusional yes i am delulu we 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 we, we know this okay oh oh my god i did not know you could do that just clicked on teeth and then got in detail edit mode and it stays that is horrible it was like she was slowly coming towards me like an absolute five nights of freddy's jump scare oh my god go away okay would teeth have would were you about to say would teeth have cows yeah i absolutely was about to say that okay i was gonna say would teeth have gap teeth what am i saying would cows have gap teeth but this isn't even a cow this is a i just don't want to talk about it we're gonna go for a gap tooth because it's me i want to have like some really big wide eyes and maybe they look quite she looks a little bit a little bit sad maybe i'll maybe make her a little bit happier okay so far she's absolutely gosh darn diddly gosh darn diddly adorable absolutely love her what color eyes do they have why did i just ask that of course they have black eyes you absolute nincompoop oh my god nincompoop we should bring that back it's a great word anyway Anyways, I <laughs> honestly, maybe some eyes like this. They're very like dark and I like that. They're like so massive. I feel like that works well. I just want to make it look really cute, you know? Although I also love these. Yes. Okay. I like those a lot. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. She's so cute. Okay. Oh my God. This is so, such a total different vibe from the case. But look at, look at her right now. She looks so adorable. And then you've got like this. You know what? I, 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 as much as I am loving how she's looking so far, like it's, it's always going to be the alternative one for me. Okay. And it always is. Also now she's kind of scaring me. Her eyes are a little, she's looking a little bit too happy. I feel like because mushrooms are so red and like so like cute colors like with the red and white i feel like you know mushrooms they're very aesthetically cute so i think if we go for like some really heavy blush i think that would look really cute and also i feel like it's very fitting i would love to go for some just across a nose oh that's so cute but then i only have it across a nose and i want it across a whole face okay like is that too much i mean i don't think it is i mean she looks a bit sunburned that's how i look whenever i put blush on okay like that's just how it works if you want to put a lot of blush on you are naturally gonna look sunburned but that's not my problem okay you just don't think of it too hard I'm also gonna put her eyes slightly further apart because mushrooms have their eyes like very much on the side of their faces. Do cows have eyes on the side of their head? They are, aren't they? See, I can't draw like because I think <laughs> because I'm not an artist, I have no idea about anything like to do with like animals and stuff. Not that any artist does, but I feel like a lot of people pick up on these things. I personally do not. I have literally like no idea what anyone looks like, anything looks like. If you told me to draw a dog right now, Jesus H Christ, disaster, absolutely disaster. Okay, I am the worst artist in the world. Cows have very massive lashes in real life, so I. I take that as a she would have very large lashes those ones are so cow like to me like the way that they're so like wispy up the top <gasps> that makes it look so cute and so sad <laughs> bless i don't want to make it look too sad or do i no i won't i won't i'm not gonna lie guys i'm quite proud of myself do you remember back in the day when I, all my sims used to look really really sad all the time i feel like i don't do that anymore or at least not to the extent that i used to and i take that as a win in my book okay that is personal growth that is <laughs> that is incredible beautiful talented amazing talented i already said that but i just wanted to reiterate that i am in talented in very little things but the one thing i am talented at ish is making sims 
ish. Ooh, I like the heavy eyeliner. Ooh, it really makes the eyes pop. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. No, I'm not going alternative. I just want to do heavy eyeliner. Do not judge me. Do not judge me. Do not judge me. I promise. I promise. I promise. Kind of, maybe. <gasps> I have like, oh my god. Since when did I have this? Does it come in red and oh no. Uh oh. It doesn't come in red and white, does it? What is the point of life? Does any of this change? No. I just wanted red and white. Okay, that's that's literally all I wanted. That's all I asked for. And I can't even get it. This is disastrous. I don't know if anyone knows this about YouTubers or if it's just a me thing, but I'm not gonna lie to you all. Every shot, like every time I stop talking, I immediately go like this. <laughs> I don't know if that's like relatable to any other YouTubers or if it's just a me problem, but my back hurts just sitting up like this. So like every other shot, I'm like, like editing back is so hilarious because half the time I'm literally out of shot because I'm just so lazy and I just can't be able to sit properly, which probably I should talk to the doctor about, but um, that's a problem for future me. <laughs> Oh, I think that this is really cute. And it has like the little dots, like the freckles that we might add. I might add them. I'm not sure yet. I am undecided, but I might add them. Also, I just want to change up a nose. I'm sorry. I get very distracted very easily. Um, anyways, there we go. <laughs> but the point is, I think that that looks really, really cute. Okay, let's move now on to hair. Here's the thing. <laughs> I have two options for hats, right? One is very dramatic and the other is less dramatic. And I don't know which one to go for because part of me is like, shall I just go all in? But part of me is like, do I want to go all in? But part of me is like, when else am I going to go all in? Oh my God, imagine if this came in red that would be so cute okay so here is option number one it is so stinking cute however the ears are not working with this so i think we'd have to change them out which is absolutely devastating then we've also got option two which are these little things i'm kind of leaning towards this one just because i really like the ears but i do love the, how the hat looks as well i don't know what to go for i felt like i was gonna say oh i don't want to go too literal lana <laughs> Hmm. Uh, I would say that's quite literal, so <laughs> I don't know. Oh, excuse you, hair. Where did you come from? First of all, you're adorable. But secondly, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. I'm gonna just flick back and forth. And I was gonna say you guys can let me know, but you literally can't. So I'm just gonna have to decide for myself. One, two. Oh, I don't know. I'm not meant for these kind of decision making. Maybe we'll, hmm, maybe we'll go for this one for now. And then if I find a hair that fits with the other one better, then I can go for it. But see, already, like, are you kidding me? You know what I mean? <gasps> Hold the phone. <laughs> No, no shot. No shot, that's just happened. This is literally the first. Guys? <laughs> Guys, what's going on right now? What's going on? How, 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 how? Have I just clicked the first tower and it's actually this beautiful? The question of the day is, well, it's not really of the day. It's a question for me right now. Do I go for red or do we go for white? Because both look absolutely stunning. I feel like because there's more red, I feel like I should go for the red. Although, am I doing a red outfit? Oh my god, decisions. Wait, but she looks so good in this. Also, I'm wondering if we should change our eyebrows out to be lighter. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so smart. It's actually unreal. This hair, I cannot even fathom. I've never used this hair yet. Like, it's been here for a little bit and I haven't used it. But the fact that I, this is the first one I put on and it looks this good it's actually insane now the only thing is is we could try and get one that has the hair but then we could put like white streaks through or something oh she looks so cute with short hair i feel like i want to go for longer hair Oh, I don't know. Dude, this is kind of adorable because it kind of reminds me of a mushroom with like the way that it's like, is it, what's it called? Jellyfish haircut or something like that? I think it's something along those lines. Okay, I've really looked through, but this is it. I'm sorry, guys. There's no, I, 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 I don't know what to tell you, okay? This is just the best. But I don't know if I should go for the white or if I should go for the red. I think we'll stick with the red for now and then depending on the outfit, I might change it out. Let's see what we've got for the outfit now. I don't, I don't even, I don't even know how to start here. I'm not gonna lie. Like what, it, what, 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 what am I doing? I don't know. Are we going for like cottage? Cool. I feel like maybe it's the best bet. That's adorable. But again, if we're going for red, I can't do that. Something about the touching. No, absolutely not. Disgusting. Terrible. So I'd have to go for white and then go for a red skirt or something. I feel like a skirt. Maybe even if we're feeling absolutely crazy and by that I mean feeling absolutely lame and doing the same thing I do for all of my sims, we'll also go for leg warmers because in case <laughs> you haven't noticed, I quite enjoy leg warmers. See, if we had a top like this, right, with these like really adorable little puffy sleeves, but we had it like in red and white, that would be so cute. I don't like it just in white. I feel like it's too bland. I'm sort of leaning towards something like this with like the puffy sleeves. I don't know. I just feel like it's quite cool. I've also swapped her hair out to be white because I just think like, what, okay, I'll show you how it was before, but I just, I don't like how it looks with the red and the red. Like, I just think it looks really weird. So like, this is how it was looking and like that is just so bothersome. So I just cannot handle that. And I also feel like a white shirt is kind of boring. So I feel like it's best to just swap out the hair. Plus she looks adorable with either. So like, I, we're not, it's a win-win situation, you know? I like something like that because I like how it's got the white, but I don't know if it's a bit simple. But then like, who's simple? You know, because that's not simple. Okay, if, if I was wearing that, I'd be like, damn. 
You know what I mean? Well, not on myself, let's be honest. I am not that kind of person to have that much self-love. Self-love? Love self. Self? No, it is self-love, isn't it? I definitely think a skirt. And I just feel like leg warmers. I don't know, guys. This is the epitome of my cute sims. I know that, okay? But like, you see a mushroom, this is what you think of. Imagine if we did this as like an evil mushroom. That'd be hilarious. Not that it's even possible. Like, mushrooms cannot attack you. They will literally just die and like fall into like three mushrooms and a bit of steak or something. It's kind of rude, honestly. Do not enjoy that. But <laughs> they also can be milked forever, not milked. They can be souped forever. That sounds even worse. You can get bowls of soup out of them. That sounds even worse. They don't come out as a full bowl. Imagine that. Oh my god, god. But like, imagine you just... You know what the point is? <gasps> this doesn't come in red. Oh my god, I hate my life. We'll have to go with these ones. That's fine. That's what I wanted. I'm just kidding. It's not what I wanted. And I'm also wondering if we should go for some of these. Because, hear me out. They have spots, right? And if we've learned anything today, it's that they have spots. I'm getting distracted. I haven't even done a skirt yet, you numpty. <laughs> I'm not even sat on the rest of the outfit. I'm here like, do I like those tights? Hmm, I'm sort of leaning to this right now. I think that this is cute. I can't get this skirt in the matching red. Like, look at that. It is slightly off. It is slightly off and it's actually infuriating me more than anything ever to happen ever. So I'm not happy with that and I'm just going to ignore it. However, I think it looks kind of cute in white and obviously mushrooms are red and white. So that works out well. I'm just wondering if there's anything else we need to add. Obviously shoes would be ideal. They have, <laughs> they have little like black paws, hooves, feet, claws, trotters. What do they have? Hello? A cloven hoof. Oh, the absolute urge to go with these again. Well, can I do it? Am I allowed? But I also kind of want to go for red. I mean, it doesn't have to be that accurate. You know, it's fine. Do I have a surely in here? We have cow. I was looking for anything cow related, but all of it is just like brown cow. Brown cow? Stunning. So I don't really have anything that is red and white cow because I guess it's more of a Minecraft thing. That's Christmas. We're not there yet. Well, we kind of are, but we're not quite, okay? Oh, we go for black and then that represents the feet. Definitely need some other stuff added on here. I feel like compared to the last sim, this sim is a lot less interesting, but it's just because whenever I go for cutesy style, I have no idea what I'm doing and I just struggle so much. Oh, actually, I think I have some sort of blush that's mushrooms. I just have this gut feeling, okay? And by that, I mean, I looked at my mods folder and searched mushroom and found out I did have some, but I have a gut feeling as well okay oh this is it i think i also quite like this yeah i might actually go for that instead and then we can add some extra blush on the tattoo section i also have some mushroom tattoos because i downloaded some specifically because i'm a doll like that and i'm an absolute legend and an icon and beautiful talented stunning so i wanted to do that why am i loki tempted to give her this like nose detail i think it's for like aliens i kind of like it i know it's kind of weird but i feel like it draws attention to the nose which is like the main part of a cow or a mushroom mushroom not an actual mushroom mushrooms don't have noses that i know of mushrooms have no you know what i'm not gonna google it i've googled enough weird things within the last like 40 minutes of filming this i'm not gonna google do mushrooms have noses No, they do not. Oh my god, I did not know I had these, but these are like little spots that just go across the body. And I think, again, they're like alien. That is so cute. I can't really see them that well, but you can just see her on her hands, which is so adorable. Ah, so it appears I found the tattoo. However, it goes underneath her hair. Like, it's literally right there. Oh well, it's okay. We, 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 we won't give her any tattoos. She doesn't need any. Loki, this sim, it looks like my old sims. Like, if you ever watch my old videos, first of all, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Deepest apologies um, from the bottom of my heart that you had to witness that. You would know that I used to give my sims this much blood every single time I made a sim. It was quite embarrassing, actually, looking back at it. Oh, in the actual, like, a base game, they have, like, the birthmarks, so I think I'm gonna give her some of these as well across her body, and maybe even some freckles across her chest. I love this detail. Like, this is literally my favorite thing that they ever put in the game, like, honest to God, put in body freckles. <sighs> it makes me heart. It makes me heart go pit a patter. It does. It does. I don't know how I've gone northern. Is that even northern? I don't know. <laughs> Did anyone else use to watch Take Me Out? No lucky. No lucky. I hope someone can relate to that. I think because people always say about, like, cows, what's I think it's bulls specifically with like septum piercings. I'm going to give her one. Although, you know what? She doesn't actually suit one that much. That is always shocking. Whenever that happens to me, I'm like, because <gasps> in real life, in my personal opinion, every single person suits septum piercings. I have never seen someone and gone, <gasps> I have these massive ears. How do I not know this? Oh my God, that's so cute. Wait, what's cuter? Why do I kind of prefer the massive ears? Guys, I might do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you all, but I think I've got to do it to them. I don't even know if they have ears. I think they do. Should we quickly, before we like, you know, basically nearly finish making the sim, check if she would suit the big hat. So this is how she looks now. And this is her with the big hat. Oh, that is cute. I've, I feel like I'm going to stick with the other one just because I've had it this whole time and I feel like I'm better off just sticking with what I know as much as I also love the other hat. But I, I just feel like it covers her up a little bit too much. I wonder if I've got any mushroom necklaces. I 
feel like I might. I don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough call is what I just said. It's a tough call. A tough call. Like what is going on right now in my brain? I have no idea. Oh my God. Okay. I don't have a mushroom necklace from what I can see, but I've just found this and it's a little cowbell. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God. Like it's a little bit on the nose, obviously, but I don't care. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay. And I think that this is the final sim. I did just check the hat one more time, but I think I prefer this one. I think I pro I'm probably going to regret it, but I just think it's a bit more, again, I know I say subtle and it's this outfit, but you know what I mean? Okay. It's a little bit more on the subtle side. And I think she is so cute. I love those ears. That was the thing. The hat, you can't see the ears. So I just love how she looks so much. She is so goddamn cute. I don't know what to call her. I think I'll go for Molly. I think that that suits her a lot. We'll go Molly Mushroom. Oh my God. Do not look at my Sims without reshade on. Jesus Christ. She uses she her pronouns. I'm going to go. She is a lesbian. 100%. I'm going to say that she has the bouncy walk. I think. Okay. Or, or, or she's going to pose. <laughs> Either one. Oh my God. So cute. I'm going to watch this as we do this. So she likes red and white. I would say that she's into animal enthusiasts. That makes sense. I think family oriented because she's like on the island with like all of her mushroom buds and family members. We will do animal enthusiast because she is an animal. Therefore, I would hope so. Maybe socially awkward. I feel like fits her. Oh my God. She's so adorable. I'm going to cry. She's literally so cute. Oh my God. Look at her. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get into it. Oh. Never mind. So here is Molly Mushroom. I feel like she is the cutest. I actually love this outfit as well. I was gonna say I'd wear it, but let's be honest, I would not, but it, it, maybe some other person might wear it. <laughs> okay, let's finally move now on to the Iron Golem. However, I'm gonna have a quick break because I'm tired. <laughs> I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a lame person, okay? <laughs> Okay, let's move on. <laughs> so the next sim, what's the next sim gonna be, darling? The next sim's gonna be the Iron Golem because well, I don't really know why I picked this one. But <laughs> hear me out. Are they kind of, you know, not really in the game that often unless you're a village, which honestly spawn way too often now, but that's just a pet peeve of mine ever since village update, which at the same time is good because obviously villagers are great, but also villagers are kind of annoying now because everyone can just trade to get their tools upgraded and I miss the days where I was mining for diamonds. But the point is, also I hate the cave update, but the point is <laughs> Iron Golems are cool in the sims, okay? Because there's some mobs that like, yeah, you can make a skeleton. Yeah, you can make a zombie. But like an iron golem. You don't have this in any other games. That's why I like these sims because none of these are in other games. Although a cave spider's in other games. They might potentially be in other games, but I don't know. I don't play other games. I am limited to quite literally like two games because, well, I just don't really like other games. <laughs> I've played uh, Roblox and Minecraft, Sims, Sims 3 and Sims 4, must I add. And uh, that's pretty much it. Life is strange. I've completed that, but that's pretty much all the games I've played for more than like three hours. Like I'm, I am the worst. Oh, the quarry and until dawn. But other than that, that's it. Okay, that's all I got. That's all I got. So the point is, I just, I'm not good at games. Anyways, <laughs> I think we'll go again with a lighter skin tone because like, I feel like iron golems have, they're kind of like, well, they're more like a gray skin tone. So iron golems have red eyes, which I always find really weird because like, why are they red if they're not even angry? Like, yeah, they can get angry half the time. That's the thing with iron golems, right? They're passive, but also hostile. I don't know what that word is, but they're like the in-between of those two. They can either be like really mean and attack you and basically kill you in like one hit because Loki, they're way too overpowered, but also not too overpowered because like good for you, babes. But also they could be lovely people, you know? Or, well, are they people? What are they? What is an iron golem? I mean, it's just made out of iron. Is it a robot? Is it a villager stuck in an iron golem's body? I don't know. So red eyes. Hmm. 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 So I'd say the main feature of an iron golem is definitely the nose. They're kind of like villagers in which they have quite large noses and that's kind of the main feature of the design. I think if we can just make the nose a lot longer, like as long as it can go. And you can't actually see their lips. So I'm just going to kind of go for some like that and okay i like how she's looking so far and i also might make her a little bit more like defined than my normal sims maybe give her a bit more of a defined jawline and like cheekbones maybe i like this a lot i think that that is like a really cool skin detail that really fits the iron golem energy now i don't know what quite that means but i'm gonna just roll with it now be rolling down a hill imagine if that was a song that'd be so awkward like you wouldn't be able to stop it's like you know when you stop running down a hill or like running in general and you just can't stop yourself and you're just legging it and then you get to a point where you're just like i can't stop right now like i'm about to literally fall over, but there's people behind me staring at me, so therefore you just kind of kind of got to carry on. It's a very scary experience when you start running and you really cannot stop yourself. I don't think I'm going to give her any freckles. This is devastating news. Although I did give the case by the freckles and also kind of Loki, the mushroom sim. So maybe it's fair enough, okay? Maybe that's enough for one day, I guess. <laughs> I love using this contour thing because I can make them have like such defined jaw, 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 jaw.
Hello, are you okay, Lana? No, apparently not. What the hell? Uh, jawline. <laughs> okay, I'd say so far she is looking really cute. I said that as I had this on. Like, close your mouth, babes. There you go. Low key with the mouth open, it's giving Chica. Now, I shan't go for another gap tooth because I have done that twice in a row now, which is quite uh, awkward. So maybe instead, these ones instead. Yes. I don't know if I should make her look more angry or if I should not. Like, I, I don't know which one I'm going for. Am I going for the angry version or like the nice version? Like, I haven't decided. I feel like I really need to decide soon because it's going to determine a lot about what I'm making with this sim. I was like, do I want to go like evil, about to murder you kind of iron golem? Or do I want to go for like nice, protecting the villagers, but still also murdering skeletons and such? Neither way, they're, they're, they're not the greatest person in the world. Now, as for makeup and stuff, I'm kind of leaning towards not much makeup. I just feel like I'm kind of getting that from an iron golem. So I think I'm going to go for some lashes, but maybe not like massive ones, maybe just like little ones like this. Before we move on to like makeup and stuff, I want to get the skin details that I have on her because it's what I'm most excited for. So I definitely have like some vines still that I got for like plant sim related things but this is fitting because iron columns have like vines all across their arm and their chest so hopefully I can find them in here somewhere. Aha here they are so this is so awesome and I love how it looks so much. Not entirely sure if I have anything like vine related on this section I guess we have like flowers I mean they okay here's the thing if we are going for like the nice version they hold out the little rose which is so sad because when they die they give you roses which is absolutely devastating to me like you are holding this rose for me and I killed you like are you kidding me right now i hate everyone and everything and it's ever happened leading up to this point in life but also it is a game so <laughs> i guess it's not that deep i think i kind of want to go more of like the version that will kill you i want to make her have maybe like a little bit of eyeliner maybe like some maybe like that yes i love adding this to my sims like the little smudge oh my god whenever i can't bother to put effort in but i want to look semi-decent like if i leave the house i just put a tiny bit of eyeshadow and just go like that on my eye and i just smudge it out and all of a sudden it's like i am fully fully made up even though in reality i took like two seconds doing it and then i think some green eyeshadow as well. Oh my god. She looks so cool and like bad book. I love it. I love it. Sorry. I love it though. I really do love it. I love it. Sorry. 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 Don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, that is cool. <gasps> it like blends in so well with that. I so wish I could use this eyeliner with the black smudgy eyeliner as well, but I don't think I can, which is devastating news because I wanted to add both, but that's okay. See, why do I have this in my game? I really would like to know. Like, I would have really liked to know what part of me was like, yeah, I'm gonna use that someday. Like, no, I'm not. Like, <laughs> I'm never gonna use that ever in my entire life because it is quite odd like in the best way possible but jesus christ it is quite scary like horror movie truth or dare smile kind of vibes and i personally am not here for that so i mean well i am let's be honest smile was a great film but still <laughs> i don't really want it in the sims okay maybe just some chap lips like this okay let's now try some hair i don't know okay because i'm very undecided if we should go for hair or just like go bald or like shaved head because i know okay i was gonna say because iron golems don't have hair lana do you think mushrooms are walking around with full luscious locks like these no, not really. But, <laughs> but I'm wondering maybe like something like, yes, yeah, so see something like this. However, I don't know if we should go, because green doesn't look quite right. And then I feel like the white, I mean, it looks pretty good. I feel like they're the only two colors we've got. So that's, that's, that's all our options. I do have a lot of like, okay, I have like this. I have this. I have these with like little flowers. Or maybe just something like this. Like it's very simple, but I like that. And I feel like, can we get it with the red at all? No. Okay. Well, still, the point still stands. And it's got the flowers in it and the vines. So it kind of has a bit of both. The only thing with this is we're gonna have to find a hair that kind of like fits around it. I think that I quite like this hair. I like this hair naturally anyway. It's like, this is a really cute hair. But I feel like it suits her a lot and it matches pretty well with the vines. Like it feels like it could actually fit. Let's move on to the body. So first of all, I think I'm gonna make her like a very buff. I just get that vibe from an iron golem. Like strong. They basically like punch you once and immediately you are like deceased. So she does not miss leg day. So <laughs> we're gonna make them a little bigger. Okay, so I, I know I have a lot of stuff that is like plant related. I don't even know why I have all this stuff, but I definitely have a lot of stuff. So this is like the bracelets that I've got. I think they look so awesome and they fit perfectly with the vines going on the iron golem. She is looking actually insanely cool. I love her. Okay. Uh, sorry. I start whenever I start getting really excited when a sim's like starting to come together, I'm like quick, quick. But then at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to finish because once I finish, I probably will never see her again until I'm making the thumbnail and then that's it. Which sounds really depressing because they just get to sit there in like a gallery, just never being touched or used. Should have phrased that one differently. Differently. So I have stuff like this, but I think that this is like too literal and also they're not like fully plants It's only really the vines that they've got on them So I'm not gonna go for anything like that I think instead I kind of want to go for something like a tank top or like warrior energy, you know month without uploading He comes back with attack 
that no one even tagged him and he's not a challenge to drag. I'm low-key torn between this top, but then we also have this. But like, I don't know what it is about the other one, but I like it a lot and I've never used it before. The only thing I hate is, what is that? Like, genuinely speaking, what is that bit? I don't know what kind of like trousers to go for here though. I don't know if we should go for like shorts. Maybe jorts could be a move. I don't know. It all has to be white though. That's the thing. It's just so bothersome. Other than the eyes, there is literally nothing else that is black on this sim. And I hate not being able to just put a little bit of black accents in there because it just drives me at the wall. It always hurts when I have to do this. <laughs> I'm sort of leaning towards these trousers. I think that they're cool. I was going for like baggy ones, but then I was like, well, if she's about to defend people, I feel like baggy, like I don't know about you guys, but whenever I wear something baggy, I am falling over. Okay. They get underneath my shoes and then disaster strikes and I fall over. And I feel like that is not what you need when you are trying to defend a whole village. So instead I've gone for these, which I think are like cool cargo pants energy. The only thing is I hate shades of white that's going on right now. I prefer a more warm shade, like a hair, but like it's just not gonna happen guys. It's just not gonna happen. And sometimes you just gotta accept in life that things suck. It <laughs> what a great moral of a story, honestly. Okay, so I think I like how this is looking. I'm not, I'm still not, I'm not set on the arm things, which is weird. Cause like I was so committed to those, you know, I was all like, oh, we're gonna do this now. And it's gonna be so cool. But now I'm like, what was the accent first of all? But now I'm like, do I like it? Mm, I don't know. Maybe there's just too many. Cause there's a lot of vineage going on here, you know? Like maybe I've just added too many vines. Maybe there's a limit and maybe this is it. I really don't know. Please, God damn, no. No, seriously, I don't know. No, tell me what to do. That does not rhyme. I know, screw you. Do, do. Sorry. What about if instead of going with this kind, we go with this kind? Because I like that it's more of like a pastel green, which is way more similar to the actual green shade anyways in Minecraft. And then I think we'll go with like maybe some chipped. I say maybe as if I wasn't going to do that anyways. Like no one's surprised by me doing chipped nails. Let's be honest. This is like so not my style. So I'm really struggling. <laughs> maybe just like some like these, you know, she's ready to run after some zombies. I could even add this underneath, which is like a little top under there just to kind of like give it a bit more like color. See, I'm low-key tempted to give her the rose in the hand. I like, what well, the poppy, sorry. I think, didn't they change it? Yeah. Mm, should we go with it? I mean, it's definitely like, you know, fitting for the character. Maybe we'll go for it. It's a little bit stupid, but I don't really care. <laughs> I think it makes sense. Oh, and also I'm going to give her a little bandage there because you know how in Minecraft when they get slightly like broken down, you can give them iron. It's like she's waiting for the iron, like she's got the cracks on her. I don't know what else to really add. I feel like I've pretty much done every single accessory possible. I kind of wanted to give her a belly button piercing, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Aha, I can do it. That's perfect. Yeah, we'll add a little belly button piercing. I just feel like whenever there's an exposed belly button, it's just screaming out for one, okay? <laughs> it just like, it's like yelling out to me every time. I'm not going to give her any tattoos because she has these vines everywhere. It would look kind of weird, but I'm going to give her this scar on her face. As I said about the like bones, I kind of like the like, bones cracking. Jesus Christ. No, I meant the... <laughs> But no, the iron like starting to like crack a little bit. Definitely some piercings I think would suit her. Like a septum looks really cute. And then I'm wondering like a bridge piercing or something. Ooh, and some snake bites look actually so sick on her. I have like leaves. <laughs> it's not really what I want, you know, leave me alone. <laughs> That's what she's saying to the, uh, <clears throat> to the, to the, the mobs that she's like, leave them alone. <laughs> Oh, actually, I love her with the stretched ears. That looks awesome on her. And then, oh, do we need to add anything else? Maybe a necklace if I have anything. Oh, I actually think I do have one that's kind of like vine related. So I've got this, which is cool, but it is somehow glitching with something. Oh, the rose. Uh oh, <laughs> that might be a problem. Yeah, so this seems to be the only necklace that I can actually pick that kind of, I mean, it does kind of glitch slightly around the the the, the, the necklace bit part. What, what is that called? The, 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 the chain, I guess. But you can't tell that much. I think I'm just going for that and luckily the flower is okay and honestly i think that that is the sim done unless i'm forgetting anything major but i don't think i am yeah i think that this sim is really cool oh my god i love how she looks so we are gonna call her what should we call her should we call her ivy i feel like we've got to call her ivy right because of the vines like it just it just it just it just you know ivy iron golem oh dear lord again don't look at my sims without reshade jesus christ go with she her pronouns we will do sexual orientation i'm getting a, i'm getting a big bisexual energy here and and then we will go for the tough walk, obviously. Look at <laughs> look at her go. Oh my god, guys, if we do this as a series, which by the way, if you guys want that, definitely let me know in the comments below and give this video a like. If you guys want this as a series, then we could definitely have some of them be like dating, siblings, like if we make like a normal spider, you know, or a cow for the mushroom. So we'll do the colors white, gray, and green. I'd say iron golems are most about family because they like protect.
protecting like the village or actually i might go for the athletic one we'll go for bodybuilder and we'll definitely go for active go for loyal because they're definitely very loyal and like trying to protect but also i might go for a bit erratic because if you accidentally punch them it's game over for you basically so yeah oh i also never did body hair oops anyways that's it so this is our final sim so the first sim we made was camille the cave spider i gotta say she's my favorite honestly we knew this was the case okay like you give me a sim that looks like this of course she's gonna be my favorite i love how she looks so so much and i'm so happy with how she turned out i'm happy with all of them to be honest this is molly the moose room who we made second honestly an icon as well like i love her very different vibes from camille but i love her so much as well like this outfit is so cute and then finally we have ivy the iron golem you know what i said that camille was my favorite i think that all three are amazing these are the three final sims so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let me know which is your favorite and also let me know which is your favorite minecraft mob in general because if you guys like this video enough i would definitely do a part two and keep going with this because there's so many minecraft mobs honestly like we still haven't done the classics like the creeper and the blaze and the ghast and like so many different ones the ender dragon the wither you know there's a lot of different minecraft mobs so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let me know if you want me to do this again sorry if this video is really long i know i have a tendency to do this lately but i just like talking a lot so yeah <laughs> remember to like subscribe to wherever you want and i'll see you guys in a video i love you guys oh wait i should do this minecraft music no it's not gonna happen goodbye <laughs>